This is probably one of the most moving scenes in this game. Like, I find something like this in most, you know, especially with Fallout. Of course, I've only played 3. And... But for me, when I played Fallout 3, a very moving scene. I've got a picture of it on my Twitter page. It was There was a couple. Like, well, the very first one that I remember was the first time I played it. I saw a, uh, I found, you know, a bed in a house. And there was a couple laying on it, you know, embracing each other. You know, they were just skeletons. That was very, that was a kind of a moving scene. It kind of hits home like, oh shit, you know, war sucks. Like, you know, this is a big deal. Like, these people, you know, they loved each other. And they, they died together in bed, probably scared out of their minds. And then the other scene that I really enjoyed with Fallout 3 was that was such a, like, a, a gray, I say a gray game, but it was really kind of green. But um, it's just such a dre dreary, like, dreadful sort of game. And I was in the cemetery in Fallout 3 when I was streaming. Some of you all were there for it. Um, and I came across one gravestone that had a flower coming up out of it. A nice purple flower. It was just a different, or whatever color flower it was. It didn't really matter what the color of the flower was. It was a flower growing in the wasteland. It just was kind of like hope. Like, it was life goes on, it still grows. But it was kind of sad because it was next to a gravestone. In Fallout 3, the first... No, nah, it wasn't the first day. During my 24-hour stream... Oops. During my 24-hour stream when I played this game, uh, when I came down exploring this way, I came across this couple. And this is probably one of the most... You know, one of the most minor moving scenes for me in Fallout 4. And you have this couple here holding hands. I got a nice view. Like, I mean, I realize this isn't real life, but, like, I just imagine, like, what if it was? What if it was? So I visit these guys every once in a while. And I feel bad for them. If this were real life and I had the option, I'd probably, like, give them a proper burial. The wind blowing them is kind of creepy, actually. It's like they're talking to us. He's waving. He's saying hi to me. Even though he's been dead for all these years. Anyway. Let's continue. <laughs> 